There we go. Oh, hi everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hill in today along with... Smadrick here, at your service. And welcome back again to No One Lives Forever. And uh, yeah, last time ended rather abruptly due to the network failing again. And I was proper annoyed enough not to start it up again. So yeah, <laughs> sorry about that. Yeah, yeah but for context, he had also returned home to rain. Yeah. So hopefully things don't fuck up again today. And something noticeable is that Kate's model is different here now. I hadn't noticed that before, actually. So I guess that changes depending on what level we're in. And hello. I really just need to hang up a sign of occupied. Don't fucking open the door. Ugh. Anyways, timer is ticking. Let's select mission. Uh, actually, not. Let's load game because the game did put down an auto save. Luckily. So yeah, we need to climb this tower and get over to the other one. When you're in position, I'll stir things up down here. The diversion should make it easier for you to get inside unnoticed. What kind of signal? I don't know. Something that'll get my attention. Right. Take care of yourself. Don't worry about me. Just get to that safe as fast as you can. And figure out what you're up to, you're as good as dead. Okay, let's see. Audio levels are looking good. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the, the only thing I can say from Wall Street uh, was that we, we had... We were kind of lucky that he chose to die before we started this uh, mission. Yeah. I don't give the orders, I just do my job. Me and Fritzy's been alone on night shift for three months. Not so much as a kitten's come in here. Who's Fritzy? Me dog. Oh. <laughs> it's true what they say, you know, about dogs being man's best friend and all that. Mm-hmm. Not that I turn down a pony, mind ya. What do you think about sheep? Uh, listen, uh, I better make my rounds. Righto then. Or a parakeet. Righto then. <laughs> I think someone's gone a bit nutty from being alone all the time here. Ooh, ooh, park. Yeah. If he gets close enough, we might be able to... Oop. They probably should have more guards to avoid... The... Yep. Yep, someone else spotted us. I was going to say, I would heard someone fire before you did anything. <laughs> and... Yeah. Apparently, it, it, I did hear correctly. Well, no need for stealth anymore. Okay, well, at least we can get the uh, we can get some more action in music for the moment. Let's see. Plans for the Wagner Operetta Museum. Okay, I guess that if <laughs> I guess that might count as evidence that they're working with harm if they're willing to suffer through her. Okay. Well, yeah, they, the standard equipment didn't even come with a stealth pistol. So, uh, yeah, we can just go mad here. Well, <laughs> uh, you would have been sparing us the alarm sound. True. There is probably somewhere we can turn it off, but at least it's not as loud as other places. Oh, hello. Uh, harm memo, more evidence. A penny saved is a penny earned. Please shut down all electrical power during non-peak hours. Remember what harm stands for. What does harm stand for then? Uh, oh no, you didn't... Here you, you you for a moment misspoke there. Yeah, uh, what? You said ham instead of harm <laughs> first. <laughs> uh... 
guides. Wow, have you tried Dr. Lee's used revitalizing plan? Take one cheese pizza and rub on skin before bed. What a glow. Talk to you later, Heinrich. Uh, I think that's the oil. <laughs> And I don't uh, think that's good for you. Or yeah. it makes you... I think that's just a good way to... get seeds and such. Okay, seems that this is a dead end already. Ah, here we go. There we go. Uh, uh, restore power to the main lift. Okay, because they shot, the, shot off the power. Uh, let's see, that... Really, we can't just jump over that? Yeah. Wait, why is that...? <laughs> okay. That was a bit Austin Powers. Okay. <laughs> okay, now we're getting suspicious music. Because they don't actually know where we are. And now they do know. Oops, thank you. Let's see. I don't know exactly what the differences between this and the Sten are. Or what the Sten like. So let's just use this one for a bit. Actually, wasn't it that this thing has a silencer built in or something? You know, it, it obviously hasn't been that quiet. Sten. As a after I think of how Sten is spelled, I want to say Sten. <laughs> it, it means rock. Or, or stone. Stan, like our arch nemesis. No. It, 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 it is a name as well, which means stone or rock, since both the, is a word for both here. But... Uh, yeah, anyone that has been called Stan has not had, as far as I know, behavior of Stan. Let's see. To Hoyt, uh, to Hoyt Bob's uh, sheep farm, please inform me of the cost of one animal. Thank you, Lyle Boyd. Uh, I'm guessing that's the one guy that we knocked out instead of shot. Oh dear. Maybe that oh, might have sent, knocked some sense into them. Yeah, yeah, I don't think we find his Swiss called Stan. Sense. It, it basically means the city. Okay. Oop. Got a bit lucky on getting both of them there. Also, why are the bloody construction workers all packing heat? This is England, not America. But they, I think the construction workers are the disguises. That also works. Just bunny hop on over. Also, I like that the alarms are have limited range. The, you don't hear them everywhere. You only hear them where they actually are. Yeah. Do they also, in a weird way, it also feels weird. Yeah. Now ah, this is right behind where we spawned in. Or arrived. Yeah, I, I think... Uh, I think construction is going to be delayed with all of the corpses around. Oh dear. Also, Kate, I know you like your... Oh, right, I forgot about this. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Sudden boss fight. What? And yeah, she sings so badly, she actively does damage to you. Now, I remember what we actually need to do here. We... Because she's, she is actually armored all the fuck up. So what we do is we lure her over and give her the shock of her life. <laughs> or maybe a shocking review. Uh, yeah, it may full strike her down for her singing. <laughs> uh, 
Yes, you will just completely ignore us if we do turn off the music. And there we go. We just need to repeat that and, well, not get in range of a... Uh... I'll just save whatever words I had there. <laughs> to not be too cruel. And yeah, she's literally just breaking every piece of glass in the area. Just wait for the thundering to stop. Then bring the lightning. I didn't actually plan that out as a line. There you are. The lightning, very, very frightening. Wait, where the heck did I get that from? Uh, queen, I think. Yeah. Oh, right. And I just remember my introduction to that song is thanks to the Muppet Show. <laughs> Okay, just one more should do it. it. That'll shut her up. Okay. Ingna, you've been... Thunderstruck. Oh, dear. Wait. I, I think she com got completely vaporized. <laughs> Really? <laughs> well, she was shocked five times. Yeah, but still, that, that, that feels a little bit weird. Yeah, there might have been something that happened, but we were, weren't looking, so oh well. <laughs> and that, well, that technically that would be all the evidence we need. But we still need to go get into that safe. Yeah. And to be honest, that boss fight feels a bit out of nowhere because it is. I think yep. something's going on down there. Well, radio and find out. What the hell are we doing up here anyway? If there's really supposed to be trouble tonight, we should be down there where the action is. What have we came up with this plan? Regulation 471.2. Huh? What's Regulation 471.2? Don't question orders. Got that one memorized, eh? Been studied, have you? Never mind that. Radio downstairs and find out what's going on. Sure thing, tough guy. Regulation 471.2. Do you want me to report you? Is that it? I'm going. Oh, he's probably coming on this way just as I'm cleaning up my glasses. Or is he? Okay, let me just finish sure. that off then so I can actually see what I'm doing. <laughs> Luckily, the glasses didn't pop out because of Wagner singing. A tiger, Helion! A tiger! Oh. <laughs> Well, he did eventually come over. The fuck kind of lucky was that? Uh, paper tiger. Thank you. Oh. I... <laughs> I could have used... I could have used that... <laughs> that new vest better now. There's at least one alive somewhere. That's... Yeah, we interrupted. Was the broom. What? That is a lethal weapon in seven nine, seven states and countries. <laughs> the, the biggest crime there was that we interrupted the the banter, but oh well. Let's see. An invoice from Harrods for four pounds chocolate, sixteen cashmere sweaters, eight pushy and pushy. However you say that, pantsuits and two ladies' hats purchased by Felicity Dumas. Okay, the hell is that doing up here? And hello. Is this his wife? That that was his wife, yeah. Or is his wife? But... Yeah, was that a lot of shock? The first, at first, before you read out the name, I thought it was uh, the, the one you, the boss. Uh, you know, the one you just killed. 
by execution, but uh, just the amount of chocolate. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if she took in that much daily. And I'm guessing we need to jump down here. Quick save. Oh, well, she did. She might have in, you know, taken in that much each you know, daily, but she won't anymore. Let's see. To maintenance from Foreman Stephens, your men have been joyriding the Windsor F F F F F4000 crane again. Proper maintenance of our equipment is essential and negligence will not be tolerated. Do I make myself clear? Joyriding a crane? How the hell do you do that? Just spin it around as fast as it can, which probably isn't too fast. Uh, Hillian, hi. You you haven't seen the music video to Wrecking Ball, have you? Uh, even then, those things don't move too fast. It's just that the thing has so much weight behind it that it takes a bit to get moving first, and then yeah. it hits hard. Yeah, I think you use that's that's your answer. Okay, well, depending on one. what kind of crane it is, do you probably can do the same with uh, both cranes. Okay, where do we... Is there a grapple point somewhere that I'm overlooking? Also, that's probably the crane that they meant. Let's see. Had they been using it as an elevator? Ah, there. Uh, okay. Let's n hope this doesn't drop us uh, right back okay, down okay. again. Okay. Oop. What for you to blast the roof? Okay, let's go back to this one on the normal ammo for a bit. Okay, this. Is there another grapple? Yes, there is. Okay. Click too early. There we go. Just use the Gmod's grope physics thing. <laughs> and... Oop. I beg your pardon? Now, the, the rope that... The rope texture that's used looks a lot like uh, the, the one... Uh, one of the rope textures in uh, Gary's mod. Oh, you say It's so is that grope! <laughs> And one of those two was using toxic ground because yeah, there was a there was yeah, there was a green cloud where the bullet landed. Luckily, it missed though. Uh, do, those things doesn't work, do they? Toxic rounds. Um. Uh, realistically, I mean. Probably some types do. It's just yeah. more it. It's just more to ensure that you're finished off than to actually fully kill you with that, and I almost fell. Uh, I'm sure it is a thing or not, if I honestly suffer. Uh, but the closest we, get, we got to that is, well, tranquilizer dot. You could always replace the tranquilizer with something else. True. But that's more of a dart gun. Uh, also, last time we picked up some bandages, which is another item that we can bring along. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, like the fire extinguisher and the antidote, it re it reduces damage from dum-dum rounds. Nice. And, yeah, we're on board now. Oop. And let's try and be somewhat sneaky here. I, I say it almost immediately gets spotted. As usual. And we get to use this thing for a bit. But we actually get to collect the crossbow bolt again. Nice. Let's see. To savage sell safari store assist from assistant to a traveling secretary, Perp de Baron Dumas, enclosed find instructions for the new panda pens to be erected in the Bristol, uh, Bristol facilities. Really? Uh, not only is he a dumbass, he's a full-on jackass. There's a camera there. Anything here? 
I can hear a camera somewhere there. Oh dear. Or is that this one I'm hearing? Uh. There's no way to get into this. Nope. Okay. Secretary. Yes, what's her name? Patricia? Who cares what her name is? I don't want to talk to her. I just want to get to know her. If you take my meaning. Oh, grow up. You're not one of them guys who likes to talk about his feelings and stuff, are you? No, I'm just one of those guys that likes to get to know a girl before I jump in the sack with her. Not me. The less I know, the better. I used to feel that way when I was 16. Yeah, well, that's your problem. There was a guy like you in my old neighborhood. He was pretty tough, till he ended up with a double whammy of syphilis and gonorrhea, with a stubborn case of crabs for dessert. Man. Nowadays, I stay away from anything I'm not sure about. That secretary may be cute, but she's got a thing for sailors. I'm not interested. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Sailors. Did you have a chance, Alien? Let's see. One's over there. Hello to you, too. Did you seriously shoot a right in the spine? Yeah, photos of Baron Dumas on Safari. He appears to be tracking a pack of mer mer mermoses? Mer marmosets? The mer fuck are those? Marmots! Marmots! Uh, uh, marmots. Marmot, marmot. No, there's an S in there, or a second. Or yeah, it's a bit. I think it might have been badly. Badly spelt, but if, if marmots, marmots, but is some kind of rodent or like a oh, what the heck is it? I don't know if they relate to moles or something. There's another camera over that way. It, we got this guy uh, way out of sight. I have a feeling we're going to need to look it up, what the heck he was hunting for. I recognize the name. Uh, let's take that. Hmm. For a moment, I thought it turned yellow for a bit. Oh. Let's see. Signal Goodman with a large explosion. Uh oh. Okay, that just looks so fucking janky. Also, that is not going to draw attention right back to us instead. Wait, I think you can jump over the camera. Or not. Oh dear. Let's see. Wait, aim for the knee. Oh, oh you're gonna aim for the ass, alright. <laughs> The, the joke is took an arrow to the knee, not the crossbow bolt. The bolt is going right up there. <laughs> oh, poor bastard. And he just gets it to the heart. <laughs> Let's see. To assistance to Baron Dumas, building services, all heating and cooling ducts have been hand cleaned and polished per directive 33985 stroke 4. What? What? Really? Well, it it ensures the it ensures the the air quality, I guess. But that's a bit much, and I think someone just found a corpse. Uh, who did, is that? Someone going in there? I think his body is glitched through the wall. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's his hard hat. <laughs> a window washer. <laughs> okay, that's going to be our way in, I guess. And 
Are it locked? What? <laughs> yep. Oh, come on. That. <laughs> oh, well. Is that your first injury? Our first health injury on this level. Gets out of service. Yeah. No one will able to harm you, but yourself. <laughs> Let's see. Heads up. Yeah, the hard hats don't work when something's coming from the sides. <laughs> but you did shoot him under the hat, right into the neck area there. Uh, oh, bloody really heck. We... Is there a button for that somewhere? Probably it, this. Uh, just that like you just got hurt by yourself. It must be thinking of sometimes when I play Warhammer on a PC. Like, I kill every single foe, and the foe have not killed any of my units, but yet I still have a lot of bonus 2 from friendly fire. <laughs> I actually saw I actually saw a video yesterday about uh, Skaven in Warhammer uh, or Total Warhammer 3 and the friendly fire is almost the, the objective. Yeah, for those, yes. And Let's... ogres as well in some ways. Let's see. Nora, what a day. I scrubbed every duct in this building by hand. My back is killing me. I think I may be too ill to visit your mother this weekend. Love, Fred. <laughs> well, at least he got to use it as a good excuse to not get to meet his... or not see his mother-in-law. And that must be how we get in, but how do we get up there first? And whoever was active has gone inactive. Go. Yeah, I saw this earlier. Um, really? There we go. All right, that, that that works better. A bit loud, but it works. <laughs> okay, if we fall off this, we're going to die. So let's get up and quick save. Let's see, I hear a camera here nearby. It's not on this oh, side. Oh no. I just remember when I played one with two there. I was playing as Lisbon against the Skaven. I had no no unit died from Friend of Fire. And they only you they all were only able to kill two Saurus warriors. Basically standard foot soldiers. And I kill like 90% of the force, and I was outnumbered. <laughs> I was doing a full stack. Where is that camera? Like, it, yeah, yeah, just imagine you having to be the rat, having to give the bad report. Oh, all right, how many did you kill? Two? Two thousand? No. Two hundred? No. What do you mean? We only killed two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Another close call. Who the fuck right. called that? Okay, I guess it must have been a side effect of releasing the door, but why did it send it up here and not entirely up then? Oh well. Oh, well. We're at this... No, we're not at this thing. We're at the opposite side of that thing. Oh, dear. So, I, 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 actually, I'm going to ask you. If, if someone told you that you were only able... They were only able to kill two of your enemies of an army. And they lost like 90% of your own. What would your response be? Uh, probably just chuck them off the nearest high place. <laughs> oh... Let's see. Yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm looking up what the fuck this thing is. Marmoset. Contains the stuff Marmoset and appears to have been run over by a truck. Uh. Let's see. Marmoset. Oh, it's a monkey. 
let's see, Marmosets, also known as Zaris or Sagoin, are 22 New World monkey species of the genera. Okay. South American monkeys. By the looks of it, they have. They have what you could call fluffy ears, or at least it looks to be the ears or something. Okay, I was thinking something like a howler monkey maybe at first, but they don't look like that, so there would, could be one name for them. And yeah, that's that's the one that was locked okay. earlier. I was told about the marmots. I guess I was wrong there, but still. Yeah. Monkeys, okay. really? Also, how much is there left of a monkey after running it over with a truck? How do you how do you stuff that? Oh, uh. Goodman, where's that diversion? Okay. Recover at least eight intelligence items. Okay. Oh, here's one. All employees, I'm addressing this message to you in the capacity of unofficially appointed kitchen police. To whoever uses the toaster in section 11, please remember to unplug it and move it back over to the utility table when you're done. Almost every day I go into the kitchen to find the toaster plugged in and sitting exactly under the hot water spigot on the coffee machine. Even though I'm an accountant, I did learn the scientific concept of water plus electricity is bad. Thank you. <laughs> Come on. What? Wait, what? Also, apparently they're going for an Eastern theme in here. Yeah, and wait, wait, wait. Let me get this right. Every morning, someone finds a plugging toaster placed <laughs> under a coffee machine? Yeah. We were going to hit oh. that sooner or later. Oh, Helian. <laughs> I'm just going to print screen that. And um, tear that out. And probably something else. Helian, no. <laughs> Don't maybe remove your crossbow privileges here. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Nothing here. And that camera seems to be stuck looking that way. Damn, I'm missing man from Uncle. That's a great mm. show. Did you catch the final episode of The Fugitive last month? I sure did. That's the way to wrap up a series. You like The Saint? I love Get Smart. What about Mission Impossible? Good show. Great theme song. I'm looking forward to The Prisoner. I guess that's starting next Friday. I haven't heard too much about that one. That sounds kind of strange. More of a science fiction thing. But I'm willing to give it a shot. You like our man Flint? That was a funny movie. I wish in like Flint was a little better. Well, it's better than The Silencers. Matt Helm doesn't do much for me. Yeah, there's a new one coming out around Christmas. The Ambushers. I'll probably see it, but I'm not expecting much. Heck, I better get to my post before Lowell comes back. Fun talking to ya. <laughs> yes, take care. Okay, so apparently that one does move. And I need to tra check my trigger finger. But yet, yeah, I'm pretty sure those were all a bunch of 60s spy shows that they listed off there. What? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Rita, a crew from Hybrid Electronics will be coming by next Wednesday to adjust the focal length of some of the security cameras. Spencer. Oh, cam uh, that's what I said. What? For a sort hybrid electronics. I wonder what the heck? Hybrids? What? Um, probably you more. Have cameras. Yeah, probably uh, more a, uh, a company name. Yeah. But this is spiky, I think you can say, understand why I just said what, out of concern. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be running into any cyborgs here. This isn't science fiction. 
Um, are except you sure? For the, except for the the body bombs. Um. Uh -huh. You mean also the glasses, the spray perfume? Well, that that isn't science fiction, though. That's just spy stuff. Yes, a lot of spy stuff or science fiction. Let's see. Hmm. In a wee way, a of a tough one. there's always a sprinkle of science fiction in all in most uh, the spy games and spy movies. Again, I say yeah. a sprinkle. I hope that's enough cover. Yes, that's enough cover. Okay, Ooh, hello, what's... What's the decoder doing here? Oh, a bit decoding the phone? Is this thing coming or not? It's not giving a noise of no. Hmm. You need the code for that. Maybe. Actually, hmm. can you even pick it up? I'm not sure. Hmm. Actually, that that decoder was probably put there for a reason. Yeah, we can't put it on there though. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Also, does even the decoders look like this? I'm not sure. And again, we're going to have to take a run between these things. So it looks like that can open, maybe. Okay, quick save. Yep, someone's moving in or out, it looks like. Let's see, any intelligence here? We're not going to find it among the guards, at the very least. Hmm. Let's see. Oddly quiet over here. No longer. Now we can hear boots. Hmm. This place is rather barren, but well, it's <laughs> it's in the middle of the night. Oh, there we go. Contains piece fifty six of the CT one eighty. Okay, still finding bits and pieces of that thing. Hey, okay, you didn't see us, it seems. Oh, wait, they're the ones who were talking earlier, I think. Oh, no. Positive. We have confirmation from site two. Damn, we'd better double up on security. You probably won't make it to this floor, but I guess it's better to be careful, eh? I'll go wake up Chansey. He's asleep in the break room. Wait, they, well, I don't think it'd be too difficult uh, to, uh, to wonder why they know we're here since we <laughs> we shot our way up. I was going to shoot that guy, but... Oh. I hope he's not in range of the camera here, or we'll find out in a moment. See, that leads back there. No, he's not in range. Camera should be looked back by now. Yep. Uh, do we have any coins? No, we do have a proximity explosive. But let's not start off with that. <laughs> yeah, let's not. We know what usually happens when you throw explosives. Let's see, then how do we get around this guy here? Is he even looking this way or anything? Yes, he is. Hmm. Well, I guess we, we, I guess we have to go loud then. Because there's no way we can kill him without setting off the... Actually, maybe we can attract his attention by shooting nearby. Or hitting the wall. I mean... 
I did not expect them to actually have a fitting sound for hitting these things. Look out, everyone. Look out, eh? Nope. And that's just alerted everyone. Oh well. Wait. The boobs heal themselves? You know what? Uh, these things. You hit them, and now the holes are gone. Or it's just the uh, fact despawning. It's... I say science. <laughs> and I, I guess our cover hasn't been completely blown. How the heck they mistook the printers for laundry machines? <laughs> I was just for a moment to ask, why are the laundry machines here? <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Knock. Oop, main uh, forever, uh, forever you're gonna be the door pranker. Yes, one of them walked this way. Yes. Uh, <laughs> that can't be good, he says, with an arrow stuck in his shoulder. There we go, that works as well. Bucky, what are you thinking? It's a pit. Yeah, the foreman is super groovy, though. Uh, we, <clears throat> we dated for a couple months last year. Let's do lunch, and I'll tell you all about it. Fran. Hmm. Wait, what? Yeah, I don't. I guess that doesn't have any uh, <laughs> anything of importance to us. Friend, I'm thinking of transferring to Dumas Munitions. I hear the pay is excellent. Didn't he used to work there, Becky? Oh, okay. So it's just letters back and forth, and they just drop the letters along the way somewhere. Let's see, nothing in between. Also, does a pistol count as silenced if no one is alive to hear it firing? Oh, come on. Either way, though, let's give this a shot. I heart Craig. Okay. That opened the elevator. Okay. We still need more intelligence, though. That's the auditorium. That's shots. Um. Photographs of a new luxury S90 accounting cubicles. All right, uh, look at the wall. Find you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> button still more okay just phase the window back into existence uh, did any of the dumbasses drop anything in here nope and Kate looks way less awkward with a gun in her hand than like this this looks like she's trying to brag about a fish she caught and not really getting the concept of exaggeration. <laughs> oh, hello. Invoice for 75 or 57 crates of mango fruit. What? What? Okay, someone likes their mango. And I get the feeling we've killed off everyone around. Almost forgot you. Hmm. Did we? I think we have eight pieces. Let's see. Re recover at least eight intelligence items. Hmm. Is there anywhere we missed? I don't think getting an alarm now would do much of anything since all of the guards are dead, unless new ones would be spawned in. Hmm. Yeah, but it seems they have 
spotted you, but they don't do anything. They just do yeah, the They're trying to focus. Okay. Will it allow us? They still have work to do. Nope. Hmm. Then there must be something somewhere that we over. Yeah, that I overlooked. So we found something in here. We found something in here. Is it the calendar on the wall or something? Is there really nothing here? Uh, is there really nothing in any of these? Mm. Yeah, you should probably do that from every side. Actually, maybe there is a book somewhere that we, or ledger that we missed. Let's see, that doesn't count. These don't count. Hmm. It's probably a ledger it? somewhere. I, I very much doubt that. Don't want photos of any of that. It would light up if it was collectible with this. Let's see. But it would also be a very obvious object. Let's see. Anything here? Maybe on one of these? Hmm. Yeah, let, let's not risk the expressway down. Yeah, um, might be some other, other rooms here we missed. Maybe. Hmm. Have we been over that way? I don't think so. Um, let's see. That's the decoder. Don't ask me how they got their hands on that. Ah, uh, there we go. Yoink. Invoice for three albino fruit bats. What? Okay. Wait, are the mango for the fruit bats? Probably, yeah. That explains that. That's a lot better of an explanation than someone being completely obsessed with mango. Where would you try that door? Oh wait. Oh no. He shoot bats. Really? I doubt he would use. Yeah, I, I doubt he would get food for the bats if he was going to shoot them. There we go. Okay, locate the Baron's office. Quick save, just in case. Stinks lately. Who? Phillips, you seen him? Not in the past 20 minutes or so. Damn, where the hell is he? What did you call him? Stinks. You never heard that? No, that's hilarious. Yeah, everybody calls him that. He does stink. Anybody who smokes that many cigarettes a day definitely needs to bathe more than once a week. I hate to see the bath water when he gets out. Probably looks like an oil slick. Stinks. That's just so perfect. Oh dear. Yeah, hygiene people. <laughs> yeah. Get camera oh there. And I guess uh, Stinks is somewhere smoking. Probably. Or we just shot him in the ass. Okay, he's just leaving. I 
could have shot lower and said, ain't I a stinker, but... <laughs> wait, wait. Torpids inside the... I th is this carpet? This is not... Ex this is carpet. On the floor. A, I think it's carpet. It looks... A Who would make the floor look like the walls? Someone who failed interior design 101. Someone is on metal nearby. Out there. Okay. He's just going to come back this way and move up above somewhere. Yeah, like if it was plastic floor, I would get, understand it. Or, you know, oh, what was it called again? It's not stone. Uh, ceramic floor? Uh, could, yeah. Yeah, for the, those make sense. It's something about having a full carpet floor in the bathroom sounds just unhygienic. Yeah, you're you're not going to get anything out of that. Oh, I got him. Yeah. <laughs> that was a nice shot. And I don't think wooden floors in the bathroom is a good idea either. Yeah. May work for, well for an outhouse, but maybe not an indoors for a indoor shower and such. Nothing okay. there. That was corp at the least. What's this? That, that, that's the light fixture showing up from the floor. Okay. We know there's at least one guy ahead somewhere. Nice little thing. Very nice. Can I, I do say I do it otherwise like the interior here. Yeah, just it's a, it's a bit odd to just find this up here. Oop. Yeah. So the only thing you criticize I will we want to criticize is the bathroom that we went through for that was a little bit confusing. I think we're being suspected. Behind the Liz room. And the only thing. <laughs> it's locked, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. If, I, if he'd gotten curious and actually approached, we would have had to kill him whilst he was inside of the camera. Really? I, how did it not? How did it not see us until we took a peek there? Someone found the body and the, the arrow sticking through the. Can we get? Nope. Would have been pretty funny if we could just pluck the bolt out through the floor. Incorporated went out of business. You're kidding. I wish I were. I really miss those guys. They sure were innovative. Generating some of the best headlines I've ever read. You got that right. I'll never forget that whole penguin suit debacle. That was a work of art. What did Troy what? have to say? That callous bastard. I was talking to Simon and we were agreeing what a sad day it was when he was struck Troy. As you might expect, he immediately starts sermonizing. It's not sad, says he. It's a natural progression of events. He goes on about how niche-oriented they were, and all that stuff about how you gotta pull off big capers if you want to make it in this business. Typical. What did you say? I says, Troy, just because death is a biological necessity doesn't make it hurt any less when our loved ones pass on, mm. does it? If me and Simon want to grieve the loss of a great organization, you could at least show a little respect, eh? I'm sure that line of reasoning went right over his head. Well, it might have. But by that time, Simon had him on the ground and was beating the crap out of him. You're kidding. No, he knocked out one of the bastard's teeth. Serves him right. I'll say. <laughs> Mischief Incorporated, really? 
It sounds like something you would name. It sounds like the evil version of this you know, of Mystery Incorporated with Scooby and the gang. Okay, it, quick it save. Perhaps the Mystery Incorporated. It does kind of oddly sound familiar. One guy is looking for us, but. I think there's a dead one over here. <laughs> Dude, get your glasses checked the hell out. <laughs> oh, okay, how okay. fucking blind are they with those glasses or goggles or whatever the fuck they are? Well, we need to clip that, don't we? So that is going to get clipped. I, I'm. <laughs> that'll be clipped, or even if it's the death of me <laughs> or Kate. You're a good what? Target. Uh, that that was worth it to lose the stealth. That was completely worth it. Uh, wait, let's wait, see. wait, wait! There was something in have? there. Uh, one hour, four minutes. Oh, hello, yeah, I, I overlooked that. Photographs of the new panda pens erected in the Bristol facility. I, I'm just going to pull out the yeah, random bit of paper. Is there a pen near here? Is there a pen? There is no pen. Oh, there's one. Uh, let's see. What is the timer at? 0058. So I know I'll need, have to check around this time to look for that but yeah that is going to get to, that is going to get clipped today <laughs> yeah i, I, I um, want to share it with some friends uh yeah since we're loud anyways loud in the term of gunfight so far at least uh let's just continue on with the bloody guns there's a uh, or maybe he was just so concerned about seeing his friends die that he had a momentary lapse of, well, sight. <laughs> I was going to knock out that one, but then his friend stopped spinning in the chair. <laughs> Okay, oh, that's the camera's out. Give nice music. He didn't see you. He looked at you, then turned around and just stopped walking. Yeah, he, he just lowered his gun to go out of the alert state. <laughs> Moral of the lesson, yeah, people. Oh, don't drop your guard ever, or you will get shot in the back the moment you do. Yeah, on the front like you. Yeah, uh, to section four three six. Since my divorce is final, I've decided to make an important life change. Please re refer to me to as Skip Reed. Thank you. Formerly Dieter Gilesby. Wait, Dieter? Did didn't we hear about that guy like three streams back or something? Oh. Um. Uh. It's the... Yeah, the guy who cheated on his wife on the return home realized his wife was cheating on him as well. <laughs> and she left uh. him for her lover while he, did, he said no to his own lover. Oh, dear. Hmm? Locate the Baron's hidden safe. Oh, it's all in the chat. Yep, hello there. Uh, let's see. Poacher 2K. Was there some intel in the control room you visited to? Uh, where the guy's putting this chip? Let me actually go check that. I kind of missed it with this sudden gunfight. <laughs> yeah, uh, oh, bloody heck. So much going on in this madness. Uh, well, welcome to the stream all the same, Poacher 2K. Uh, I think you just... I, I, I think you might have popped in just after... Uh, uh, no, that's another decoder. 
It's no intel, it seems. Okay. I think you might have missed one of the clips of clips ever. <laughs> we shot one guy with a crossbow bolt, and then the guy next to him, who was looking right the fuck at us, went, I think there's a dead one here. And then we shot yeah. him. <laughs> I'm, I'm leaving that one alive since he's just napping. And he slept through a firefight. <laughs> uh, ain't nothing going to wake him the hell up. Now, where is this safe? And well, that's very obvious. And that's very tacky. Okay. Oh, yeah. How are you doing, Poacher? Hopefully not uh, poaching as many animals as uh, Baron Dumas. Give me that. Okay, let's... This thing is... Let's see. Infrared. Is it on? Uh, yeah, it is on. We can see in the up, uh, lower right what mode is selected. There we go. Pardon? That's that's you're correct on that one, uh, poacher. You're correct on that one. Well, he he at least at, he at the very least paid poachers to go get animals for him. So indirectly, I guess, but still nothing yeah. for his own. Yeah, like, he killed them himself, but he had to pay someone else to get them. And ah, yeah, I I don't like Dumas. I, I part of me wanna punch him. Repeatedly. And yeah, un <laughs> until Drakir there uh, brought it up, I never got I never thought of the possibility of Dumas being just dumbass short and <laughs> maybe we should use that as an insult or something, just to call someone a Dumas and have them wonder what the hell are they talking about. Probably will not do it. And also yeah, I think Helen just did a quick save here. <laughs> And probably should do it again. There we go. Yep, quick save saving in the corner right there. Uh, what is it, Helianda? Uh, just someone walking in again. How the fuck are we supposed to get through this? All right, I was wondering why are you just staring so Good intently job. on the, the Twitch thingy? Uh, uh, I guess we took in one step too much. <laughs> and yeah, this is what happens when you get poisoned. <laughs> you start seeing goats all over the place. And dying very, very, very slowly, apparently. <laughs> okay. What the heck? <laughs> this is going to be a tricky one. But yeah, just uh, someone walking in to talk about what to get for dinner and such. And apparently I'm paying. Ah. Oh, you poor thing. How the fuck are we... Okay, those oh, two may seem to be moving... No, not that they... Hmm. Oh, now I realize how low your own health. Yeah. <laughs> it again doesn't regenerate between scenes. It does regenerate between full levels, but not chapters I, a part of me gets the feeling we're just need going to need to freaking run for this and try and get there too fast for it but i yeah i'd very much say this is a very effective laser grid yeah that was too effective um Got... I think I only got caught there because the lower one got came back and I missed <laughs> I missed that. that Portman I... was sitting here thinking, is he gonna do it the first try? <laughs> yeah, technically it was the second try since we accidentally tripped it by just walking in a bit too much. <laughs> yeah, but still, I thought you were almost kneeling <sighs> it there until you got hit on the last bit. Uh, let's make that another clip then. Just almost epic, still fails. Uh, uh, dear. 
come on, stupid pen out of ink. No, okay, you can still get a bit out of it. Uh, Why don't you ask uh, uh, ink uh, for more ink? Uh, let's see. Yeah, she's outside at the moment, I think. Or downstairs napping on a chair. She's taken to doing that again a lot. Probably because oh. it lets her guard the cat flap. Okay. Okay. Yeah, th these two are running at different speeds. I can duck under the upper one. Yes, but I have to jump over the other one. But I have to be at the other side when one of the other is not closing in. Yeah, now they approach together. And... Nope. Oh, come on, really? Uh, let's go. Oop, that jumped into the rat one straight. Wait, are you supposed to run to the other side of the wall? Yep, yep. Okay, oh, you, it this is it, possible. Oh, sure. Okay, you have fun. What the... What the heck? Why did it go widescreen there for a moment? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Maybe it. Come on. Okay, maybe you need to buy some less big boots. Okay, I'm gonna jump into the other one. And yeah, this one is really freaking tricky. Actually, is there an alternate? Thing here or something. Is there something we can just shoot to fix? Do we have any? We have proximity explosives. That won't work. That is so going to go off the moment we get close, isn't it? Oh dear. Uh, let's put the fuck did it go? on the glasses. Alternate modes. Uh, oh. Yep. Come on. For a moment, I thought you actually did break them. For a moment. Yeah, this this lower one is going to be tricky, since it will force us to jump. And we can't jump over the second one. Yeah, we need to go when both of these are moving away from us. Like that. What did I jump into there? Is there... Is there really nothing for us to break here? There's, there's a crawl space underneath these things. Oh. Oh, no! I probably shouldn't have thought that that was a gas vent. When the gas was coming from the top. Ooh, okay, still would have been cool if we'd managed to run through that. Uh, well, I think now we know why it was so hard. You're not supposed to f succeed on that. Then we got what we needed. Let's get out of here. What's wrong? Volkov. Once again, I find myself aiming a pistol at someone you care about. Drop your gun. How do I know you won't shoot him? You don't. But you can be sure that I will shoot him, unless you do as I say. Don't listen to him, Archer. I realize you are American, and therefore feel entitled to speak your mind whenever you please. But you are also at gunpoint, and very likely to be shot if you don't shut up. Go to hell. What did you say? Nothing. I heard you. Tell me what you said. I thought you wanted me to shut up. Now you want me to talk? Make up your damn mind. You are testing my patience. Miss Archer, I suggest you drop your weapon before your obnoxious American friend forces me to silence him. Once and for all. Don't do it. Get out of here now! Here. Give Tom, up. go! Oh, I forgot his go. first name was Tom. Well, it was John. Hey! 
after her. I hope you are pleased. Oh, that's two for two partners dead. Oh dear. Well, yeah, that explains why he does wisp. He wasn't giving that diversion, like he said. He got his dumbass captured. And well, with a shirt like that, he would stand out like against anything. A bit of sweet yeah. success, to be sure, but a success nonetheless. Recovering from Agent Goodman's death will be no easy task, but you can be sure harm won't sit idly by while you grieve. The information you recovered from the headquarters of Dumas Industrial Enterprises may prove to be the break you've needed. Report to the War Room for a full briefing. Go! Tom. Santa being worried. Kate Archer, please report to the war room. Thank you. Agent Goodman's death is a terrible blow. No question about it. But although this mission was costly, it may well prove to have been worth the price. I wish I could believe that. You mustn't lose sight of our objectives. The sacrifice of any or all of us is a small price to pay to preserve the lives we will save if we are successful. Tom knew the risks. So did Bruno. So do you. Knowing the risks doesn't really prepare you for losing a partner. It certainly doesn't prepare you for losing two. Nothing can prepare you. The loss of an operative is never expected and is always tragic. But as horrible as it sounds, it's also inevitable. It's a dangerous job. Perhaps Mr. Smith is right. Perhaps I'm not up to the task. Rubbish. You've performed remarkably well under extraordinarily difficult circumstances. I confess I was somewhat skeptical at first, but that was before I grasped the magnitude of the situation. In my entire tenure as a field operative, I never once faced a crisis this formidable. And certainly can't say I would have done so with the aplomb and competence you've demonstrated thus far. I didn't realize you were a field operative. Indeed, for 14 years. After the war, I found I was having a hard time adjusting to civilian life. Fortunately, an old acquaintance of mine was recruiting for Unity and happened to ring me one afternoon. I've never looked back. Sort of difficult to imagine, isn't it? Not at all. You flatter me. Anyhow... Let's have no more self-pity. What do you say? Yes, sir. So before you served on the committee, you and Bruno were colleagues. And friends. Did you ever work together on an assignment? Frequently. We lost track of how many times we'd saved each other's lives. And you still believe he was capable of treason? In my heart? No. Intellectually? I don't quite know what to believe. No question about it. He was always a steadfast, resourceful fellow. But the history books are full of patriots turned traitors. There's no telling what a man is capable of, given the appropriate temptations. I know what I believe. I admire your conviction. And I pray you're right. Ah, Mr. Smith. I hope you have some good news. Good news would be that we hadn't lost another valuable agent on this mission. What news do we have? Well, our analysis of Agent Archer's photographs is complete. And? We have a possible lead on Dr. Schenker's whereabouts. I think we can classify that as good news. As I said, it's all relative. This harm situation isn't the only crisis in the world, and we're fast running out of competent field agents. Then suppose you get to the point and tell us what we know about Dr. Schenker so we can go fetch him. It's somewhat speculative at this point, but it's possible that Harm is keeping him at a secret underground research facility in North America. We don't know the exact location of this facility, but thanks to the files Archer photographed, we know it exists, apparently in the vicinity of a lumberyard in western Washington State. 
It seems the site is being supplied by an American Railways passenger train. Records and research has dug up evidence of various trains making unscheduled stops in the area over the past three weeks. At regular intervals? Indeed. Probably to drop off supplies and personnel. We're certain that at least one American Railways engineer is on the harm payroll, although several individuals may be involved. We're looking into it. What's my assignment? Phase one will be to apprehend the engineer or engineers in question so that we can interrogate them. Once you're aboard the train... How exactly am I to get aboard? We'll smuggle you into the galley car. Lovely. Anyhow, once you're aboard, you will meet with a contact who will tell you precisely whom you'll need to detain. It is safe to presume that other harmed personnel will be aboard the train, so subtlety is advisable. Needless to say, seizing the conspirators will prevent the train from making its stop, so you'll have to be sure to detrain at the appropriate time. Well, after falling out of an airplane, I suppose jumping off a moving train can't be that bad. That won't be necessary. Once your objectives are complete, you must head for the caboose and detach it when you're near the lumberyard. We'll have an agent in place to switch the track and reroute you to an unused depot behind the lumberyard. This area is not likely to be heavily guarded, so you shouldn't have much difficulty getting through. If all goes according to plan, you will rendezvous with another undercover agent who will, we hope, have information that should help you locate the underground base. Then I grab Dr. Schenker and get the hell out. Precisely. We'll have a helicopter nearby awaiting your signal. Your flight departs in one hour, so if you need to stop by the toy shop, now's the time. Understood. Thank you for putting things in perspective for me, sir. I promise you I will do everything in my power to destroy harm. Archer? Sir? Don't let anger cloud your judgment. Revenge is an understandable impulse, but it is also a contemptible one. Our job is not to avenge, but to protect. I can't just shut off my feelings like a tap. No, but you can bridle them and use them to fuel your resolve. Destroy harm, but do it to save innocent lives, not to retaliate for those already lost. The moment you give in to wrath, you become as reprehensible as the monsters were hunting. Clearly, we are all called upon to take lies from time to time, but we must neither relish it nor agonize over it. It is a duty, plain and simple. Not a pleasant one, but often a necessary one. I'll do my best, sir. I have absolute confidence that you will. There was one more thing, although I'm not sure how important it is. According to one of the documents Archer photographed, it seems the Baron's wife changed her surname some time ago. Really? So her maiden name isn't McLean? It's Farnsworth. Felicity Farnsworth? Are you quite sure? Positive. Do you know of her? Aye, that I do. When she was eight years old, her father, a wealthy banker, was involved in a nasty public scandal involving unmentionable acts with a 12-year-old boy. Ew. How dreadful. Mr. Farnsworth committed suicide shortly thereafter. Felicity and her mother, by all accounts a vapid socialite, were ruthlessly ostracized by their peers. Guilt by association, presumably. Furthermore, rather than inheriting the fortune she expected, Mrs. Farnsworth discovered that her late husband had left the family in inescapable debt. She went quite mad. Several days after being institutionalized, she hung herself. My word, that poor child. Felicity fell into the custody of an elderly aunt whose lifestyle was apparently rather more severe than she was accustomed to. About a year later, the aunt took a fatal tumble down the stairs. Foul play? No mention was ever made. What happened to the girl? She ended up with a foster family where she remained until she was 14. One night she went out her bedroom window and was never seen again. Or at least no one recognized her. Astonishing. Where did you learn so much about her? I studied her. Come again? I believe I first read about her in a gossip column. I was intrigued by the similarities in our background, so I dug deeper. What similarities? Well, we both came from wealthy families. We were both orphaned at a relatively early age. Our fathers both killed themselves, although for very different reasons. We were both plunged into undesirable circumstances and resorted to rather desperate measures to survive. I found it quite uncanny at the time, although in retrospect, I think we had less in common than I once believed. Adversity is the truest test of character. The strong are strengthened by it, the weak made weaker. It sounds like this Baroness didn't have the wherewithal to cope with her misfortunes. 
It's a common trend among terrorists and bullies that they imagine themselves persecuted by fate and therefore feel justified in harming others. You're frothing. Sorry. I get carried away. She's involved somehow. The Baroness? Upon what unimpeachable evidence are you basing that supposition? I just have a feeling. Ah, then the case is as good as closed. I don't expect you to believe me, but I'll count on you to say something smug if I'm right. It's virtually guaranteed. I'm not smug. Acerbic, perhaps, maybe even sardonic, but not smug. Okay, sure, whatever you need to tell yourself. I have to agree with her, Smith. Don't either of you have work to do? Aye, sir. Off I go. Good luck. <laughs> what a... What about taking a piss at him? <laughs> yep. <laughs> a one that he fully deserved. Yeah, it... he actually used words I never heard of before. I already uh, forgot them. Uh... The Acevic one or something, the one he used before Sardonic. Yeah, I've never heard either of them. I've heard Sardonic before, but I don't actually know what it means. The same. Uh, I'd look it up, but we have a level to continue, so... To yep. Uh oh. Acid gas with a jelly base to make it sticky. You definitely don't want to get it on you. Ilian? Yeah. Good. I was just to say, don't stand too close while using it. Here's a spiffy new device that should make dealing with security cameras less of an ordeal. When fastened to a camera, it generates a still image from the camera's viewpoint. That should convince a casual watcher that he's seeing an empty room. Attach a camera disabler to this security camera. Yep, now we have a way of dealing with these stupid things. <laughs> we can dance before this thing do the freaking Macarena and it won't notice a thing. Okay. Not even an intro bit. Riding a motorcycle is oh. easier than you might suspect. To get on, oh dear. You walk up and activate it. Hit activate again to dismount. Hit the forward key to accelerate, backward to brake, and the left and right turn or sidestep keys to steer. You can also steer with the mouse if you prefer. You will decelerate automatically if you release the forward key. Traction will generally be better on harder surfaces. Although you cannot use weapons while riding a motorcycle, you're not completely vulnerable. Ramming an enemy at speed is an effective way to clear a path. Oh, hello. Uh, you might want to experiment with both the keyboard and the mouse while riding vehicles to find the control scheme you're most comfortable with, Santa. Oh dear. I guess we're gonna grab some food. So I'll be right back while you do this. And yeah, I've heard people complain about this, uh, but we'll see how much I'll hate it, if at all, in the coming levels. Apparently this model is called a Triumph. It's a, I, would buy, I would fully buy that there is actually a motorcycle brand or model called the Triumph out there. Uh, Especially a British one. And before we finish this, let's wait for Drakir to return. Uh, so he doesn't miss any cutscenes. But, yeah, just keyboard seems to work pretty well. It just... it, The turning takes a, a moment before it actually starts turning, which is a bit realistic. I think. I'm not entirely awake at the moment anymore. <laughs> uh. 
Let, let's just do donut. Let's let let's actually not. That was might cause someone to, <laughs> to throw up or something from motion sickness. <clears> There's <throat> a bit of a sudden stop and start. It seems. Hmm. Or maybe it was just that one case there. Yeah, I, I think I have heard people complain in reviews of this game about the controls with this, but it could be that in the, well, this fan patched version that that's been uh, worked on. Okay, still waiting. It's, we can just bounce off of trees like they're made out of bloody rubber. I guess Guybrush must have been planting rubber trees here. <laughs> Welcome I'm back. back. Okay, I didn't let's spook. park Did this die? thing. <laughs> nope. Damn it. I have to figure out how to scare him without oh. scaring him too much. Never mind, you oh, broke well. the bike. I think we just need to head back into the elevator. <laughs> we don't actually need to finish anything here. <laughs> okay. If Dr. Schenker is indeed being held in this secret underground research facility in North America, it's a safe bet he won't be there for long once Harm figures out what you're up to. The first step is to identify and detain the American Railways conspirator so that we can interrogate him. You will then need to locate the hidden entrance to the facility, find Dr. Schenker, and get him out alive. Without him, we're doomed. That should not <laughs> brought crackers from Emil here, I feel like. <laughs> oh, I'm not hearing anything cracking, at least. Oh, there's more of since I had headphones on and I start chewing. <laughs> That's going to Basically echo. it makes my uh, it makes means I make myself deaf. <laughs> well let's crack on then. We need to get inside the train, contact the agent, apprehend the, the harm agent, retreat to the caboose, and get to find the entrance, sh get Shanker and get out. And let's just go with default. We have our pistol again. We have the SMG, timed explosives, and stun gas. Five of them in total, okay. Five camera disables, disablers. Sunglasses with everything. The breath. And code breaker. That it. That's it. Have you seen anything suspicious? Like what? There's a spy aboard this train. Are you sure? I am. How do you know? I have my sources. That doesn't really answer my question. Let's just say I heard it from a little birdie that someone's been poking around, nosing for information about our obliging engineer friend. Oh, we don't want that information falling into the wrong hands, do we? Well, I haven't seen any spies. If you do, let me know. We don't tolerate spies. I'll keep an eye out. See that you do, moron. Did you see really? Something? What? I could have sworn I just heard you call me a Mormon. <laughs> Why would I call you a Mormon? I have no idea. Do you have something against Mormons? No. Then why are we having this conversation? I don't know. See you later, then. Count on it. <laughs> really? Really? Wait, what? Oh, no. Wait. Wait. Wasn't he one of us? Nope. <laughs> Then we get the Fox Luger again. <laughs> Let's see, what's this? Structural survey report. Our findings indicate the walls of harm facility 229B7 are substandard. 
Bamboo support beams are unacceptable for a structure of this size. Suggest replacement with 19 inch steel beams. Really? I know that bamboo is tough and all, but not that tough. Yeah, do they do use it as a scaffolding in uh, some countries to surprise their effectiveness? Yeah, and for very tall is, buildings. Why the hell didn't we get a silencer for this thing? Yeah, uh, wait, 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 wait. There, there's something in the kitchen. There's something in the kitchen, so. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. There, there we go. Hello. Wait, 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 wait. What? 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 looks so tasty. <laughs> Running away from the ticket guy because we don't actually have a ticket. Right, give me the one of the meats then. Give me the rest. Let's see. Avoid the conductor until you have a ticket. Prevent civilian. Find roster and obtain a ticket. Okay. There's one. Okay. Contact the unity agent. Again, there should be a button to have us examine all of the uh, intel that we have. Going to try all of the buttons at the moment. It's inventory, no. Also, no. are they reusing the same calendar over and over? Yep. Cats. Yeah, I think they are, yeah. Let's see. Not that either. Hmm. Seriously, what? What is the button to look at our intel? Because I'm pretty sure that's how we actually take a look at that at that thing. To see who the hell we need to contact. And that's a dead end. Okay. Then I guess we have to head this way and dodge the conductor. Because uh, yeah, if he were to catch us, we'd have to man, we'd have to hurt. Why? Because I'm not. What's wrong? If we had taken a plane, we would have been there yesterday morning. Instead, we're still stuck in this sardine can. You know how I feel about airplanes. And you know how I feel about long, boring train rides because we do this every time we go anywhere. Sorry. Next time you can fly and I'll ride the train. You mean travel separately? Why not? You you don't like traveling with me? Sure, but I want you to be happy. You're just trying to get rid of me, aren't you? Honey, calm down. You probably just want to have an affair with some train riding hussy. Don't be silly. <laughs> Oop. Lose, lose, whichever way you go. And that's the conductor, so let's hide. Although I don't think he gets this way far. Or at least I hope so. Also, I'm pretty sure once you've checked someone's ticket, you don't have to go check them yet again. I think he's heading back. Yes, he is. Really, you just checked all of their tickets. <laughs> also, uh... Jazz Choo Choo. <laughs> oh, dear. What does that say? Bleak something? The main course deep fried steak as an appetizer? 294. 299. Okay, <laughs> I'd go for that. Different era, different economy. So that would probably yeah. be higher now. Yeah. yeah he's ahead. Actually, uh, I think that was actually expensive back then. Tickets, please. He's nearby. That's actually. Uh... Really? Uh, uh, 
<laughs> I thought I was stuck for a moment. Let's actually quick save so we don't have that happen again. Huh. Mm. Uh, let's see, what are we at? 26 minutes to go still. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, he's right outside. Just wait for him to pass by. Since he seems to be going back and forth, constantly harassing the same Please. passengers. And I just had an idea. Probably due to it's October. A whole remove about the train conductor. Tickets. Ask about the tickets. <laughs> if you don't have a ticket... Well, if it's a horror movie, you can guess what happens. Yeah. You get ticketed. Or rather, you get turned into a ticket. Yeah, or just thrown off the train in the most horrible manner. Talking about getting turned into a ticket, I got this stupid idea recently of... Uh, in my opinion... Uh, oh, hello. Piece 897 of the CT-180. Why the hell that these pieces keep showing up? here but yeah the stupid idea was uh, basically a, a book or a movie or something uh, where it, yeah it'd, it'd be dystopian where people uh, yeah, I, I, I'm trying to find the correct words of how to put this yeah, let's see. we can hide in here uh, basically you know how uh, with sports and such uh, players often get Traded back and forth constantly like the freaking playing cards. Basically, oh. basically that's uh, a bit more literalized. That they actually get turned into bloody uh, uh, trading cards uh, to be traded around. In a dystopian horror movie sense, that sounds horrible. Ticket. Okay, now we just need to contact our agent. And can we knock this guy out? Yes, and send him phasing through existence. <laughs> um, Killian. Make him disappear. Yeah, we don't have that. We could make him but and a good chunk of the train disappear. With um, an explosive. Oops. Quiet, please. <laughs> I say without a silencer. Did you? I think we scared you... the crap out of someone. <laughs> Quite literally. Another clip. Um. Another clip. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. You are record of three clips in one video. Jim, please come right away. Your father has dug up the ole uh, oleander bushes in the front yard and replaced them with petunias. Those bushes have been a part of this house for 20 years. This early retirement is an idea is a disaster. Love, mom. One <laughs> forty uh, ish for that one. Okay, holster this. Where the hell is that agent? Is it just you or is it hot in here? Either way, I think you need a cold shower. <laughs> kind of halfwit comes up with these code phrases anyway. I know what you mean. What do you have for me? Looks like the assistant engineer has been acting alone. Crew compartments are all the way at the front of the train. You'll be able to find him there, since his shift doesn't start for another half hour. Perfect. And it seems that that guy in encryption hasn't been fired yet. Or gotten a girlfriend. 
Yeah. Sometimes looks more. It sounds like uh, he had tried to use them as a pickup line, and uh, those has been his responses. Yeah, that's the entire joke. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> okay, now that we have the ticket, we don't have to fear the conductor anymore. Wait. And he's actually stopped harassing people from the sounds of it. Wait, wait. I think we've seen the conductor before. No. I think that the drunken guy to be follows on all, all the levels. I don't think he is. Though it would be Please. funny if he was. Might just been reusing the mod and just altered that mod a little bit. It was the same phase. Let's see. This was locked before. This one still is. Okay. Out there. Who are you? No, please, don't hurt me. That should keep you out of trouble for a spell. Oh, oh, hello. And good. Really, you got a, a, you got both got two phosphor rounds to the face and lived. Well, well, one phosphor round and lived. The second one certainly did them in. Yeah. That's kind of weird. You shoot two times, and it looks like you shot the wall with a shotgun. Uh, maybe it's the first bullet fragmenting on hitting their iron skulls or something. So what the fuck was with that pose? Yeah, that was a little weird. You... Some people managed to vanish quickly. Someone didn't vanish quickly enough. I thought I could be slick and get two of them in the back of the head before the third one responded, but... Uh, no, 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 no. Hello, boys. So much for stealth. I didn't expect that many to just pop up instantly. Did that last one have, like, a heartbeat monitor or something? Okay. Wait. Oh God, shouldn't we stop the knock on every bathroom door? Uh, we don't really have too much time for that at the moment. Oh, oh hello. A film entitled Train Riding Hussies on the Orient Express. Really? <laughs> uh. Uh, are we... Did we just... We found a porno. Oh dear gods. I get the I get the feeling if we were standing on the wrong end of this that we get a stupid game over or something. Either way, here we are. Without a cutscene or really a Yep, he noticed us. There we go. I'm actually tempted to end the stream a bit early now, because I am starting to get really tired now. Then I still need to eat. Ooh. If... Let's see. Cranston, please remove these boards by next Tuesday so the executive director's private coach will be able to enter the secret base. Thanks, Bob. I I don't think you want to mention your secret base in a post-it note stuck to concrete. Oh, bloody heck, these dumbasses. In a way, you could say that uh, the harm personnel causes more harm to harm... <laughs> Then Kate does. Yeah. Oh, we, got, we got cyanide tipped. Hey, wait, wait, it's cyanide the poison rounds. Yep. Okay. Hmm. We still have no silence for the uh, silences for anything and which is still a bit odd for 
what is likely supposed to well is partially meant to be a stealth mission and okay that's just a fake ladder oh hmm. we're probably going to get into another shootout here but let's at least try to be a bit sneaky Plenty of ammo for this thing. We just need a freaking silencer. And I think someone... Yep, we got... And that's going to set off the alarm. So thank you. Really? There we go. Actually, might as well... Yeah. <laughs> Ow. Oh. Wait, what happened? He fell off the... He fell off. Ow. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Let's see. Uh, really? Just a door that opens to another that doesn't? Dumas Lumber Co. Clear cutting since 1926. Uh, Use more wood. It'll grow back eventually. Come on. Is those... No, I thought those were the... Okay, there's already a hole. They're, they're, they're smart enough to notice someone underneath the floorboards. Holy crap. That, that, that sounds like something that would be, have been said around that time era. Or some people around that time were not taking forestry seriously. Yeah. I lost some health there due to dum dum rounds. Well, maybe. Girl? I don't know. Then what you saw? Okay, rather right, say, I think some countries early on know how important woods were, considering the traditions. Borders. Yeah. A bit too much blind by money. Yeah. Well, so I think that was our. Our contact getting choked out or no idea why the pipes were moving though maybe they were hung from a shower head or something maybe and now I guess we know where they're getting all the bells uh, the bells wood from yeah and seeing as it's no longer an objective to get the contact I don't think we can anymore Oh, that's why I said bell. Is that a bell emblem on it? Oh, wait, no, it's a tree emblem. Okay, good one on that one. I confused his... <laughs> confused his combat role for a death uh, spin. And... Yeah, it looks like we're just on our own for finding the entrance. And yeah, we, we have about 12 minutes to go, so might as well finish up. And run away from the annoying sounds. Yeah. Run as fast as the wind, Silver. Run! <laughs> Thank you. I think we've only used a Kalashnikov like once. Or Maybe th two, three times or so. We haven't used it much, to be certain. I'm surprised you see it by then. I was basically born and raised that everyone called it AK-47. Okay. And here we go. Let's try not to crash too hard. So, yeah. I believe some of these later levels will get pretty hard, but we'll also have to deal with freaking snipers. So... Wait. Why does it look like we just... Like we just charged the ow, charged the Russian you, border. It looks more like you tried to charge a barrel and failed. Yeah. Uh, let's see. To security officer Cranston, uh, from assistant to executive director Volkov, 
Now, Dr. Shanker's part of the duty have been very disappointing. If the good doctor is unwilling to cooperate, the executive director may be forced to institute a motivational re regimen. Note that it will apply to you as well as Dr. Shanker. Okay, Kranst is in trouble. Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. I saw something weird in there. They have a different calendar behind you on the wall. <laughs> the armor, of course. Okay. Armor? Well, armor. Well, I guess it would call, be called armor tanks. Yeah, that, that is often called armor for simplicity's sake. Uh, inventory and armor. Oh, also, I, I guess we're that. playing uh, Pac-Man <laughs> with these Russian-looking guys. Ow. Hmm. Okay, let, let's hope this base isn't too far away from everything. Also, I'm pretty sure we would be running on only one back wheel here. Okay, steer too much to catch that one, but he can just run after us if he wants to. And miss shoot? horribly. What happened to your voice there? Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, fatigue is really starting to whip. Uh, more okay, of, it sounded like... It sounded like you... Uh, for a moment, I heard a radio show was something come out from your lips. Okay, might have been a bit of interference and... Yeah, yeah that rock totally doesn't move, according to some button. Also, a helicopter. The hell did that just come from? Here comes the pawns already. Yep. Also, danger close, apparently. Did I just... Yeah, they, <laughs> they shot their own guys. Oh, oh hello. Thank you, whoever dropped this. Okay, sit still for a moment, will you? Thank you. Yep, and I still miss. There we... I don't think this is going to work, Kate, but we can give it a shot all the same. <laughs> what I thought I chucked it in there, but no. And it's going... Is it going down? No, it, it's beeping a hell of a lot. There we go. <laughs> well, that's that dealt with. Now, can we... Uh... Oh, over there. I, actually, that's... That's a freaking flyer. Yeah. yeah. I didn't notice it. Fr fucking thing. If we press this, it actually opens up that. That's pretty clever, actually. Quite clever indeed. And don't drop and kill. We get killed now. <laughs> Good boy. Good captain. Have a grog. Yeah, my driving is bad enough without alcohol. We don't want you to sail drunk as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, like, that's actually terrifying. Imagine having a drunken captain by a ship's wheel. <laughs> Finally, cutscenes again. Stay alert. There's been some trouble upstairs. What kind of trouble? Spy trouble. How do you know? That's just what they told me. I'd like to see a spy try to get in here. Well, make sure you're ready, just in case one does. No, we're already in, so they both fail. Hmm. Oh, dear. Also, still weird that we didn't get anything with a silencer in the standard... 
and the standard equipment. Yeah, so we... it's a bit weird. Maybe we could have found one along the way or something, but still. It means that we're going to go loud no matter what the moment we get into any kind of firefight. Yep. <laughs> so that was going to get set up anyways. Uh, red 15 on Edsel. What, that's probably a car, but I know nothing about cars. Also, hello. Yeah. Did we accidentally open that? I, I guess. Oh, well. Hello. Okay. Uh, right. Was there something? Or was there just a cartridge? Yeah, that's just a, a, a bullet casing. All right. Oh. Yeah, as you can see, the toxic tips leave a, well, green cloud on impact. So, hello. What is that? A, a lighter. Okay. Specifically the... Okay, the kind of lighter that Unity gave us. How the hell did they get their hands on that? Well, they've been killing our operatives, haven't they? Yeah, but I, I'm pretty sure they invented that only after we started. Also, hello there. Uh, from Assistant to Executive Deck Director Volkov, Misery is having trouble setting up the PU-38 explosives they purchased from us last week. Please transfer employee 9908 uh, Wes Salisbury to the project immediately. Really? They're, they're subcontracting their people to other evil organizations? Oh dear. Who took the shot there? But, uh, uh, <laughs> who would have thought, what the fuck did this pop in? But no, that was us getting hit with the toxic tips. Okay. Uh, this is back up here. Nothing to gain. Uh, that needs a code. Okay, nice and easy. And now we're b back here. Oh, hello. Someone else heard that. Oh, you heard that. I'll, I'll take that the moment your body is done rolling around. I, I don't feel like I've seen many older games where people fall down stairs like that. Oh, so you're do death animation and lay dead on the stairs uh, a bit awkwardly. True. And uh, this is the same. Yes, it is. Okay, then what is the other way? Uh, this way. This loops back here. Okay. Uh, secure the office and disable. Hmm. That is obviously going to be needed, but we can't get into there yet. We probably just need... Yeah, we probably need to turn off the security before that becomes accessible. So, we need to go run around a bit more. Hmm. So, what else is there really... That, that closes that. That is a big-ass door for a base. Definitely secure, though. Yeah, probably meant to be secure. And that just leads to the garage to the outside, I'm presuming. Yep. Okay, then where the hell is the security <laughs> office? That's a person you just went up and knocked on it. Also, can we knock on this? No, we can't. Uh... <laughs> I suppose we could not knock on that. There we go. Not sure why that takes two uh, activations. 
Like, where is the security office then? Pretty sure we've gone down every path here. Or is this? Wait, what? We could we could open some drawers? That's new. You You didn't know? Nope. It's, where the hell uh, is this? Uh, have you ever finished this game? Uh, oh. Uh, yeah, I have finished this game, but Lost was back in the the, the zeros or something. Uh, okay, yeah, that that's quite a while. Oh wait, we know we need this. There we go. Uh, what the? There we go. Turn the lockdown off. Okay, for, for a moment I thought we're still going to keep that going up. Oh, and security grass, that's going to be useful. Very useful. Might as well get rid of that extra round. And that's the timer going off, so let's get down here. And then we'll call it the stream. There we go. Sounds a bit Star Trek-like, the noises kinda kinda okay Oops. going past that I can hear footsteps but that will have to wait for next time uh, and it seems we've used up all of our save slots okay starting at the tap up then and with that, let's move to here whilst I quit the game. Here we go. And yeah, let's go look for someone to raid. Did we actually managed to get the two full bloody <laughs> hours through without any difficulties. Yeah, <clears throat> um, but you did have some struggle with the lasers. <laughs> True, but... <laughs> We weren't meant to get through yet, anyways. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Mute Twitch. And let's see. Uh, Iggy Maid is online with Saints Row 4. We have Navia of Flame, who is playing Omega Strikers. Uh, Big Sergal, who is streaming Vampire the Masquerades, Bloodlines, I presume. Yep. Uh, Hyper Strange TV, who is streaming Other War. Can't say I've heard of that. And the one person that we do know who is streaming at the moment is Touch Scaly Tail, and they're streaming One Shot World Machine Edition. Okay. I've heard of the game One Shot, but I, that sounds like more like an enhanced edition than a sequel or anything. We may pick that up one time. Or, well, in one shot, perhaps. We'll see if it'll take any more than that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, any of those sound interesting? God, which was the risk games was. I heard, I remember something about me, but vampire, vampire masquerade is the word. <laughs> yeah, vampire, demon masquerade, bloodlines. Uh, okay, what would it was it the, almost one of the most way many on un, unknown games this time? <laughs> well, it, it has a quite it has gotten more and more known over time, but it is probably still somewhat obscure. I, I haven't heard any news from that sequel that they've been working on in a bit. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the all other games I said about oh no, I, I heard of Vampire Masquerade way too much thanks to YouTube. <laughs> but yeah, the other games that are being streamed is like freaking Fly again. What the fuck is that doing here? Uh, the other games that are being streamed at the moment are One Shot World Machine Edition, Saints Row 4, uh, Omega Strikers, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, uh, Other War. And 
the other people who are in my recommended at the moment are either doing art, talking, or are a bit big <laughs> for us to raid. Hmm. I, I want Sean this one today. Uh, I'd say let's jump to Hyper Strange TV and Other War then, since that is a game that I have never heard of before. So let's go over there, copy their name. It seems they're doing a green screen. Hopefully they have more luck with that than I did in the past. Uh, why is that? Why is it still showing his stuff while I moved to my channel the hell? We are still, yep. Okay, channel. Okay, that's weird. Anyways then, slash raid, paste, and uh, well then, uh, before we start that off, thank you anyone who has been uh, watching now or later. Thank you Poacher2k, even though you only stuck around for a short bit, you're appreciated all the same. And thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah, I should be able to get two streams in tomorrow. Uh, we'll try... Shante and starting anew with Minecraft, so though not, not completely anew, I've done some pre-work, nothing too big at the very least, uh, mostly just getting a, a start with create and a safe place to work with, even though I've already lost two cats to freaking Walden. And yeah, then on Sunday, <clears throat> then on Sunday we can have another sh showcase Sunday done. Where, yeah, if we're lucky, dread... we'll have another console game shown. Yeah, and it's a dreadful number. <laughs> Anyways, let's start that raid. And, uh, yeah, until next time, have a nice day. And, uh, no, wait, bit. Again, thank you all for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, folks. Watch out for gremlins and spies. <laughs>